Hey, beautiful people, welcome to my channel. All right, so Taurus, we're going to see what's coming up for you. This definitely will not resonate with everyone, so please take what fits and leave the rest. This is messages coming towards you in 2022. So far, most of these readings are coming out more or less like personal readings, so they may not resonate with you, okay? Take what fits, leave the rest, and uh, feel free to check out the other signs in your chart. I think I have you and Virgo and Capricorn to do. All right, so let's see. Anything else? Okay. You, what you got going on? You got someone here has a lot of stuff going on. I don't like it. It's a mixture of stuff. All right, so you have the victory in some endeavors. Okay, cool. This is cool. <clears throat> so there's something that's coming down the line that really matters to you that you are going to overcome and be successful at. That's good. So overall energy. Key, successful outcome to your problems. Rainbow, the most difficult part of a situation is over. I love it. Dark woman, dealings or relationship with dark complexion or hair. You have spear, heartache over what you no longer have. All right, so... Let's see. All right, and then you have Quill. Get back to the basics. I don't know why I just got back to get back to loving yourself. All right, let's see. Then you have Lily, spiritual love. You have flowers, happiness. You have mice, discord amongst family or friends. You have owl, good advice from a wise person. Uh, let's see. Bear danger, especially in money matters. Okay, watch a pinnacle, sweetheart. Especially around the first of the year. Club, someone will try to make you do something that is against your will. I don't know why, but I'm getting that it's this woman here. I don't know. It doesn't have to be. You have beetle, good fortune. <clears throat> you also have the fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. All right, mind your money. Like, seriously, watch your money, watch your purchases. Purchases. Um, don't overspend, especially during um, Christmas and the first of the year, okay? Because there's a lot of sales going on here. Someone here might be getting ready to purchase a car um, come January. Um, I don't know why I'm getting that. However, don't settle on one, on one thing. Like, be open-minded to your choices, okay? Um, don't get settled on one type, one one model or something like that or going to one specific place to buy, to purchase a car. Keep an open mind and look around. I think you're going to find a better deal and there's something that you're trying to purchase right now that is not economically phys uh, uh, feasible right about now, okay? So, yeah, just be mindful of that, okay? weird all right so you have horseshoe good luck you have the jug light-hearted carefree times this is actually not a bad reading at all okay you got a little hiccups here dealing with some people but other than that you know it seems pretty cool you might have some issues going on within the family and it might um i do see that there's possibly a breakup here a loss of someone here however i do see that you're going to get over this and uh, you do have some new love coming into your life and a lot of abundance. So not being funny here, someone here, <laughs> this, whatever this is here, this person that is leaving your life actually might be a good thing for you. Hmm. Someone here might have actually been kind of holding you back. Not being funny, but there's blessings in your life that I see. And I think someone that you were possibly dealing with um, may have been kind of hindering those blessings. So, um, yeah, you might be a little bit sad about leaving this person behind or however this split happened. But this is actually opening the door uh, to some beautiful things for you, okay? 
So um, eventually I see that you are going to be getting over this, this situation, even though you have love for this person. I think you're going to get a sense of freedom here. But anywho, yeah, someone in your family or this friend, this woman here may be trying to get you to do something that you don't want to do. Or maybe um, I got out of character. Something about this person has you doing things that are that's not like you. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone. Claw, be careful. Do not take risk. All right. Someone's trying to get you to do something that you're not really, really comfortable with. Heart, deep love. I'm sorry. Love, deep affection and caring. Yeah. Broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. And I do believe that this is this relationship that you're dealing with. Okay. This could be friend, family, but I'm getting that this is for someone. I think this is a romantic relationship. Someone that you were dealing with. Who, uh, like I said, you might have been sexually attracted to this person, physically attracted to this person, and uh, you guys vibe together on a certain level. However, it kind of seems like someone here um, may be a little bit low vibrational, and this person is, I think you're starting to realize the more that you deal with this person, the more that um, your energy is starting to shift and you might start noticing that things are not coming together in your life like you would like, especially when it comes to your money, your money, your overall happiness. There might be, you know, uh, issues with this person. You're dealing with someone who may create chaos and drama between you and other family members as well. I don't know. Take it how it resonates, but this is what's coming up for me. Now it's time for you to cut out the BS and go back to what you know, what you're familiar with, okay? All the drama, leave it alone, all right? So yeah, the most difficult part of this situation is over. I see you getting through this, healing your heart, focusing on yourself, your pinnacles, okay? So um, yes, yeah, there's a successful outcome to your problems that's coming, all right? So there's gonna be some answers. I think once you kind of step back and look at this picture, you're going to look at the effects that um, this person has on your life or this situation here. You might feel spiritually connected with this person. However, this person might be actually be one of your soulmates, but we're not meant to stay with every soulmate. Okay, some, some are karmic soulmates. Some are sent to uh, give us lessons here. And this is possibly what's happening. So, anywho, um, I do see that there's going to be a new situation, new love coming up for you. However, I don't think you're going to be expecting this. And I think that you are um, basically working on yourself while when this actually comes through, okay? Also, you're going to be surrounded by people that are going to give you a lot of good advice. Um, people who are going to love on you, pour wisdom into you, you know, and help you see some of the errors or some of the issues that were going on in this situation actually someone may sit you down and go you know what hey um i don't want to tell you this but while you were dealing with such and such uh you know you weren't you know really being yourself you know we, you might have noticed that i kind of took a step back from you for a minute and it's because this person causes conflict between us okay so you might have someone that you were dealing with that was trying to alienate you from everybody else that you're really close to and i think that once you kind of release this person you'll realize that, yeah, um, this person is kind of toxic. So, yeah, I see you getting through this. And this does not have to be a lover. This could be someone that is a friend of yours, okay? A friend that doesn't like your other friends or a friend that doesn't like your family members and they're trying to, you know, keep you to themselves, all right? So, um, yeah, there's that. Okay, so off of that, um, there is a concern, like I said, with money matters, okay? So be mindful of your spending um, you may have something unexpected that pops up around the first of the year. So like I said, just be mindful of that. There could be some changes coming along here. However, um, that's a small matter, okay? You just have to be, um, like I said, truthful, you know, shrewdness and, and resourcefulness when it comes uh, to money matters, okay? Be smart. Make wise decisions when it comes to investing your pinnacles, okay? So, um, 
yeah and when it comes to your money someone is going to try to make you do something against your will so this could be you know someone's trying to show you you know like i said there may be a car that you really really want and yeah it's got all the bells whistles and it may drive by itself but it may cost you 700 dollars a month okay and 300 dollars in insurance make it make sense okay so don't go putting yourself in debt trying to impress other people or trying to keep up you know a certain appearance um, get in where you can fit in where your pinnacles allow you to be um, in at this moment and then upgrade later, okay? Especially if, um, you know, right now, you know, you need, uh, uh, you know, just the bare minimum right now. Do what you, Get what you need and not what you want right now. Just be mindful so you can um, have your pinnacles that you need in case of an emergency or anything else arises, okay? manage your money period all right you have good fortune so there are some good things that are coming for you, you got good fortune good luck and uh yeah so there's some beautiful things coming for you so some things are going to come out uh, play out for you in ways that you're not expecting especially when it comes to the money right now like i said you're going through a period of money pause all right um so during this time you know, be like the, the squirrel. Prepare for the winter. You know what I mean? And then I do see that you're going to be, you know, hanging out with friends, talking over, you know, you know, chopping it up with people that you really love and care about, you know, and not really stressing on too much. And uh, yeah, so this looks pretty damn good. You got some drama, some people with, it's a person in your life that's bringing some drama here that's no longer you know, serving a purpose in your life, all right? So I think somebody learned some lessons here and is getting ready to cut this person off. And uh, you're going to feel much better once you do. I do see some new love coming for you. And uh, yeah, you'll probably meet this person around while you're out hanging out with friends, family, celebration, whatever it is. And uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty good for you. But when it comes to this connection with this person, I don't uh, see there being success here, okay? Whew. All right, so 12 minutes on that. Oh my God. Let's see, what else do we have for Taurus? It's not like I don't have to go to work here. <laughs> Thank you. Fearless love, shine. All right, so yeah, it's time to break free from this madness, this drama. Okay, um, get grounded, stable, focus on yourself, your pinnacles. You know, your foundation, you have alchemy here. You have everything that you need at your grasp to manifest the type of life, new beginning and love that you want. You have mask here. So this tells me that you are a master of many. Okay. Um, they say a jack of all trades and a master of none. However, you have multiple things that you're able to to do and capable of okay so like it says you wear many hats you have many different faces okay so in other words you know um you step up to the plate in every area that you need to you know you need to be that elder i'm there for you all right you need that business person i'm there for you that creative person i'm there for you that spiritual person i got this you know what i mean so there's a lot of growth that's happening here and i think you're in um getting in tune with who you really are getting back to the basics okay of knowing who you are and what you're capable of okay so right now i see that you're focusing a lot on yourself at this time which is you know really cool i got as you should okay so right about now this is all about you your spiritual growth and um you getting what you want out of your life you know and exiting the things that uh are not for your highest good so 2022 is a year of transformation for you, Taurus. You get into things that you want. All right, so let's see. You have control. Control your thoughts, your emotions. You are definitely taking control over this situation using discernment. You're letting go of things that no longer hold you, you know, that, are, that were holding you back negativity self-doubt people who are pouring negativity into your life speaking negative my goodness yeah coming together you definitely got new love coming here okay 
also you have the master here. Someone here, man, you were dealing with somebody who's very manipulative here. The master here is basically the devil. Okay, someone here who is very near and dear to your heart. This person kind of plays you like a puppet. However, I see that you're releasing this, okay? Definitely releasing this, seeing it for what it is. Pouring love into yourself. Realizing that you are the empress, the manifester, the magician. You have everything that you need to move forward, okay? Releasing negativity, controlling your mind, your emotions, and your actions in this situation. Seeing things for what it is and not for what you want it to be. Taking control over a situation. You are the master of your life. The author, okay? You're also learning how to control your emotions when it comes to other people, okay? And you're bringing balance into your life. And also, you do have a connection that is going to be on a spiritual level that's coming in as well, like I said. So there's going to be a decision here that you're going to have to make when it comes to this new person. Just take your time when it comes uh, to this love situation, okay? If you're already in a relationship here, I see that you're going to work on strengthening the bond between you and your person. Someone here could have been in a relationship, a marriage with someone where things... Um, <laughs> I got... You guys are getting on each other's nerves, okay? <laughs> But what it is that um, you guys, there's other people that are affecting your relationship, okay? This could be children. This could be family. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, you guys need to get back to the love, get back to the basics, and come together and bring balance into the situation, okay? Control your emotions. Release whatever negative energy that is coming between you guys that is causing strife, all right? Remember um, how you guys brought this uh, situation together okay like I said this is not for everyone but someone here is allowing outside influences to affect them um, affect their emotions also someone here is allowing outside sources to affect their marriage their relationship one that you're already in all right so yeah get back to the basics with that you have triumph, heartache, and loss. So, yes, there is, like I said, someone here is definitely letting someone go, releasing negative um, negativity, releasing someone that um, really kind of, someone here is a very lighthearted person, but the person that you were dealing with, like, casts a dark shadow over you. And I think, in a way, it was kind of holding you back from being who you really are. Either way it goes, like I said, someone really loves this person and you're going to release this situation or put distance between you and this person so that you can actually feel free. Someone feels way down here. I definitely see there's going to be triumph success over this situation as well in many areas of your life. Source is telling you I got you. And again, I'm going to tell you again to watch your pinnacles because you have financial changes here, okay? This card... Um, <sighs> usually means that there's some type of financial constraint. There's definitely a change with your finances here. So you want to be um, careful of your spending. Watch where your money is going to, okay? So you might have to look and see, okay, well, you know what? This is not necessary. This is pleasure right here. This are These are needs, all right? So there's a, a need to look at your pinnacles in 2022 and, uh, you know, kind of rein it in and you might be paying for stuff that you're not even realizing that's coming out of your account, but this is going to cause an issue. All right, so streamline whatever this is when it comes to your money, especially in the first two months, all right? So let's see. There's going to be a need to save. Yeah, well. I'm going to go ahead and get into the tarot after these. All right, you have elder, move beyond ancestral patterns. All right, so someone here might be kind of stuck in their ways. All right, um, yeah, sometimes we actually have to break the cycles 
of of our ancestors okay and uh you might have been the designated driver for this uh, millennium okay for this uh season it's time to get out of some toxic situations and things like that someone here may have had some um they may have gone through um some things in the past that kind of trickled down, you know, into your life and things like that. There's some times, uh, it's time to make some changes here. All right. Yeah, the night, be brave and honest. I think I'm, I see you doing that, especially when it comes to this person here. Um, you're, you're going to come clean and tell somebody exactly how you feel, stand your ground. And uh, yeah, not back down from it. So I like that. I like that. Very humble. Learning from spiritual experiences. Yes. There's spiritual growth happening here as well. Someone here is not only looking at the person that came into their life as a... Wow. Okay. So, this person that's coming in with this drama in your life actually was a catalyst for a spiritual awakening here. Someone here may have really realized through dealing with this person that they were dealing in their shadow side here. All right? And someone here is taking control over the situation and releasing this because it's very negative. It's weighing you down. There might have been some patterns in the past. Um, wow. With some ancestors here, it doesn't necessarily mean that these people are hundreds of years away. This could be um, your grandparents. This could actually be your parents. They're, they're your elders. Okay. Someone here in your family may have some negative traits like I don't know, alcoholism or something like that, you know, and maybe you kind of followed that path and the person that you were dealing with um, is, is, oh my goodness, is basically keeping you in this pattern. I don't know. This is weird. Okay, anywho, I see you releasing some negative stuff. Um, this person that came into your life is basically a catalyst for some spiritual awakening here, okay? There are some things that you're realizing dealing with certain people that um, is giving you insight and a different look, a different uh, perspective on your life, and you're making, you want to make some changes here. And you have the sun, enjoy success and happiness okay so yeah there's some beautiful things coming down the line for you it's just a lot of growth and transition that's happening here releasing some toxic traits from you know that were passed down the line and also learning how to discern the people that are in your life and setting up boundaries and loving on yourself more pretty much this is what this is and when you make a decision to cut out negative things in your life, you're opening up the floodgates of abundance, okay? So even though certain things are happening right now or will be happening, matter of fact, I'm starting to see that certain things are starting to roll um, right now. You might start to see some resistance happening right now that's starting to move some people and some things around in your life, okay? It might be a little bit uncomfortable, but roll with it. Because it's actually for your highest good, okay? It's going to bring balance into your life, all right? And also, you're going to end up with someone who is more aligned to where you want to be in life, all right? All right, so let's see. In other words, you're going to be surrounded by the people in your life who mean you nothing but good, okay? So, let's see. My goodness. All right, what other messages do you have for Taurus? This is definitely not going to resonate with everyone. All right, yeah, I see you releasing some burdens here, making a decision to move forward, going after what you're passionate about, okay, your heart's desires. Let's see. Yes, bossing up, taking control over your life after a period of being stuck, not able to make a decision, okay? Do I or don't I? But you're taking control over this situation. Nah, this is not what's happening. I need balance in my life. All right. 
I know what I want and I'm going after it. You've taken a period of time to sit back, take a break from the situation, look at it as a whole. And it's taking you a minute to move, but you're, you're slowly but surely making changes in your life, okay? So, yeah, I like this. Releasing burdens, deciding to make a decision to pick up your stuff and move in the direction that you want, taking control over your life, all right? After a period of, wow, rest, all right? Rest and rejuvenation, making a solid foundation. Oh, my God, a solid decision to move forward towards a brand new beginning. Your heart's desires, whatever the source put inside of you, that burning desire, you're going after it. Also, like I said, I see new love coming. You make the decision to move forward after what you want, sweetheart, and you will be sitting very pretty, okay? It's going to take a minute for it to come through. We saw the Knight of Pentacles. So your Pentacles, like I said, you might be in a pinch in the first beginning of the year, but invest wisely and it will pay off for you, okay? look at this look at this what did I just tell you be patient and your wish fulfillment is coming you have victory and success coming for you sweetheart all right cut out what no longer serves your highest good all right negative folks that negative mindset has got to go because you got something to lose here all right you don't see it but source is about to bless you with something very very beautiful Okay, very beautiful. Just be patient. Go after what it is that you want. Don't let anything hold you back, okay? I'm just saying. And like I said, be mindful of your pinnacles right now. Save, save, save. Don't go spending. All right, so let's see. Let's get more messages. What's coming up for love? Mm -hmm. Yeah, stand your ground. Stand your ground. There's something that is really weighing on your heart, and I do believe it is this person, okay? Something that you have to walk away from. Um, literally, like, take control over the situation, all right? Someone has you in your head. Mental conflict. There also may be a lot of arguing, fighting with this person, just a lot of discord that has you in your head, and you're pretty much tired of this situation, okay? Stressing over it. Six of Wands wants to pop out to let you know that things are going to be okay. Just make the decision to cut this drama out of your life, all right? You're dealing with somebody that's probably very arrogant as well. Very controlling, manipulative, all right? Let's see. Yeah. Oops. You could be dealing with somebody that's actually dealing with somebody else, too, with the Three of Pentacles. I don't know, but... Either way it goes, you're moving away from this drama, moving into calmer waters, all right, doing what's best for you. Yeah, because this situation has you stuck, stressed, worried, anxiety, okay? Hmm. But no worries, source sees what you're going through. You're going to get through this, sweetheart. You're definitely going to get through this. Yeah, see, you may have found out that this person has you in competition with other people. All right, there may be some communication. Oh, someone here may be very arrogant and pop off and tell you that uh, they're dealing with someone else or something else is going on because somebody else is keeping secrets here. But through some type of communication or epiphany or something like this, some way you're going to find out that you were not the only person. Somebody is being very manipulative here. All right. But like I said, I do see something new coming for you. So you're going to end up moving past this. All right. Yep. Not going for this. <laughs> Making a decision to move forward. Going after what you want. Your heart's desires. Queen of Wands ain't no joke either. When she piss her off. Ooh -wee. Mm, I'm just saying. All right, so let's see. What's coming up with new love? New love. What about the new person? New person. Yes, it's coming in slow. Look at this. 
you got somebody that's coming in real slow that's going to offer you this cup of love and actually this person is coming in um expressing how they feel they're not only going to tell you they're going to take action okay i do believe that this person is literally going to take their time you're going to take your time with this person as well to see how this grows look at this look at this can't make it up this person's coming in slow but you got some new person that's coming in slow they um definitely going to come in and communicate with you all right this person is very sexually attracted to you i gotta tell you that yes there's um yeah a strong pull between you and this person okay and i don't think you're expecting whoever this is i think you possibly know this person but it's taking them a while <laughs> it's taking them a while to come towards you all right so this is someone that um possibly has seen you in a relationship with someone else has um, possibly known you for a while. They're looking at you from a different perspective, okay? And this person definitely wants to rush in and tell you, hey, Taurus, I think I kind of like you. So yeah, can we get this going? So you definitely have somebody that is coming for you, okay? This is karma. Karma is stepping in with this justice here. All right, it's going to make everything balanced. Karma's like, you know what? I seen you went through some BS. I see that you made a decision to walk away from some drama, work on yourself, um, learn from the spiritual lessons that were put in front of you. You know, you went ahead and you aced the class, baby. And guess what? Blessings are about to be in your life, okay? Let me kind of help you out and make these scales balanced, okay? Focus on yourself right now, self-love, self-care. And while you're doing this, I'm preparing your person in the background. Your person is actually watching you grow, watching you take care of yourself, watching the changes, okay? Watching you set boundaries for yourself, all right? And, and you're looking very attractive. And this person is definitely going to come in and communicate this with you, okay, or to you. So, yeah, Somebody that's grounded, stable, nurturing as well. Someone that matches your energy, all right? So, um, yeah. I'm just saying, you got somebody that's going to put in the effort that wants to work with you, okay? Collaborate. All right? So, anyway, speaking of collaborating pinnacles, I got to go make mine. So, um, yeah. There's that. I hope that uh, you enjoy this reading for whoever this is. Um Things may be a little bit rough right now, but just know, sweetheart, you are capable of many, many things. God is working in your life. And uh, yeah, you got some some blessings coming for you. You just got to release this toxic situation, whatever this is. Like I said, this could be a negative ass family member. Could be someone that you were in a relationship with. Could be a family member that did really has some toxic traits that you may have picked up on and that you have to, you know, release that situation so that you can have abundance and growth in your life. Okay. I love you and thank you for rocking with you, girl. Make sure you hit that like button.